So you've been told for years that cardio is the best exercise option for weight loss. Now you're being told that weightlifting or bodybuilding training is a better option. You've heard that HIIT training or circuit classes can burn twice the amount of calories in a shorter period of time. This probably led you to confusion about what the best option is for you and your weight loss goals. I'm gonna make this all incredibly simple for you to understand. So yes, if we look at exercises like cardio, HIIT training, circuit classes, they have a much higher energy demand than a weightlifting session. You'll probably burn more calories in 30 to 60 minutes of cardio work than you will in a resistance training session. But the key here is to look at the longer term effects that weightlifting and building muscle mass can have on your metabolism. If you've used cardio or excessive amounts of cardio as a weight loss tool in the past, but then you found the weight creeping back on again, this is probably the mistake that you're making. Training to build muscle mass, whether you call that weightlifting, bodybuilding, resistance training, whatever you're doing, is helpful for long-term weight loss sustainability because it improves your metabolism. Let's take person A and person B. Let's say they both weigh 60 kilos. Person A is 60 kilos of high muscle mass. Person B is 60 kilos as well, but they don't have as much muscle tissue. They're generally carrying a little bit more adipose or fat tissue. We know that muscle mass has a much higher energy demand than fat mass. What this means is if these people both weigh the same, one is more muscular than the other, person A, for example, is gonna have a much higher calorie demand. Person A probably needs 2,000, maybe more calories every day just to sustain their weight because they have so much muscle mass on their body. Person B needs a lot less, maybe 1,500 just to sustain their weight because they are more fat mass than they are muscle mass. This is helpful because it raises your ceiling for weight gain. Person A, the high muscle mass avatar, needs to eat an incredibly higher amount of food to gain weight than the person who is lower on muscle mass. You can see how this is helpful for keeping weight loss off in the future. Instead of dieting down to really, really low levels of restriction and calories, like 800, 900 calories a day just to ship weight off really quickly, you then don't have much buffer if your maintenance calories are at 1,500. I'm just using numbers for an example here. Basically, having muscle mass on your frame allows you to have a higher metabolism, put your calories up way higher, which makes reducing calories a much simpler process because you have more buffer and it makes it much harder to overeat because your metabolism is that much higher. So it's not that weightlifting or bodybuilding helps you burn more calories in the short term, it's that it helps you keep weight loss off in the future, longer term. I hope this helps clean up some of that information for you and make things a little bit simpler to understand. Essentially, a well-balanced health and wellness program consists of keeping your cardiovascular fitness at a high level, whilst also resistance training two to four times per week. If you have more questions about your weight loss process, or if you just want to clear up some of the nutrition and the exercise information that you see out there on the web, click the link in the description below, book yourself a free call, and get a little bit more clarity on your exact plan for your goals.